In the ethereal realm of ancient Greece, where gods and goddesses held sway, there lived a Tetanus of unparalleled grace and tranquility, Tethys. As the embodiment of fresh water, she presided over the vast oceans, rivers, and springs that sustained life throughout the world. Tethys was the beloved wife of Oceanus, the titan of the boundless sea. Together, they formed an indissoluble bond, their love as deep and enduring as the waters they ruled. Tethys's gentle nature complemented Oceanus's tempestuous spirit, creating a harmonious balance that governed the ebb and flow of the tides. From their celestial abode in the depths of the ocean, Tethys and Oceanus watched over the mortal realm. Tethys's keen eyes observed the parched lands and the thirsty creatures that roamed them. Her heart yearned to alleviate their suffering, to quench their thirst and bring solace to their weary souls. One fateful day, as Tethys gazed upon the arid plains of Thessaly, she noticed a group of weary travelers struggling to find water. Their faces were etched with desperation, their bodies weakened by the relentless heat. Moved by compassion, Tethys descended from her watery throne and appeared before them. With a gentle touch, she summoned a gushing spring from the parched earth. The travelers gasped in amazement as the crystal-clear water flowed forth, quenching their thirst and revitalizing their spirits. Tethys's gift brought joy and relief to the weary souls, and her name became synonymous with hope and renewal. Word of Tethys's kindness spread throughout the land. People from far and wide flocked to the spring, seeking her blessing and the life-giving waters that flowed from it. Tethys welcomed all who came, offering them solace and sustenance. As the years passed, Tethys's reputation grew. She became known as the Mother of Rivers, the source of all fresh water that nourished the earth. Her name was invoked in prayers and hymns, and her image was carved into statues and fountains, a testament to her enduring legacy. One day, as Tethys sat by the banks of the Nile River, she overheard a group of children playing. They were laughing and splashing in the water, their voices filled with joy. Tethys smiled, her heart filled with contentment. My children, she said, may these waters always bring you happiness and prosperity. May they quench your thirst and wash away your sorrows. The children looked up at Tethys, their eyes wide with wonder. They had never seen such a beautiful and benevolent goddess before. They thanked her for her blessing and promised to honor her name forever. As the sun began to set, Tethys returned to her watery abode. She had spent the day spreading joy and comfort to those in need, and her heart was filled with a sense of fulfillment. In the twilight's embrace, Tethys lay down beside Oceanus. The sound of the waves crashing against the shore lulled her to sleep. As she drifted into slumber, she dreamed of a world where all living creatures had access to clean and abundant water. Tethys's dream became a reality. Through her unwavering compassion and the power of her divine essence, she ensured that fresh water flowed freely throughout the world. Rivers meandered through fertile valleys, lakes shimmered in the sunlight, and springs bubbled forth from the earth, providing sustenance and joy to all who crossed their path. And so, Tethys, the Tetanus of Freshwater, became a symbol of hope and renewal. Her name was whispered in reverence, and her legacy lived on through the countless lives she touched. For as long as water flowed, Tethys's spirit would continue to inspire and guide the hearts of mortals, reminding them of the boundless power of compassion and the enduring beauty of the natural world.